Hey guys, what's going on? It's Meshi with Path to Wellness with Meshi. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. And thank you so much for sharing your space with me. I'm so glad that you are here. As you can tell by the title, another month has gone by and we're going to be chatting about all of the beautiful things that has gone well and we're not gonna talk about the things that didn't go well because this is a monthly favorites video. So let's take a moment to reflect on how March has gone and let's get started with the video. All right, well, the very first thing that I would like to address, I, I knew this would happen. Okay, so let's get started first with, I feel like we need to address the change of location. I really wanted to I really wanted to shoot this monthly favorites video like you're sitting here in my living room. And honestly, whenever I think about favorites, I think about something comfy and awesome and things that you're loving. And so I didn't want to shoot it in a rigid studio. So we're changing it up. And honestly, I'm around like the most beautiful plants and I'm around my wonderful dog who is constantly photobombing almost every single video that I make. So I think that we're going to, now that you have gotten a little cozy, let's get started. So the first thing that I wanted to talk to you about is actually beauty and skincare. There hasn't really been too many beauty products that I have purchased for the month of March, but some of the ones that I wanted to highlight that has actually been really working out for me is the Narcissist Stick from Well People. So I have done like a full first impression and review on it. And here are my further thoughts on this guy and also on the Well People Biotin Moisturizer. With this guy, I will show you a close up. Like color match is basically perfect for me. Uh, it's a vegan company. They're relatively new, like all clean ingredients. Not going to spend too much time with them, but all I will say is that it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. The stick is perfect if you want to like, like if you just wanted something like a sheer to maximum medium coverage, I have actually been using it as a primer and then it like the tinted moisturizer goes on like a dream and like the staying power between the two of them is absolutely wonderful. And while I will not use the word obsessed, but I absolutely love that glow and that glow from within look. Um, I have tried their, their concealer as well. I didn't bring it down here, but I have tried their concealer and that's also really, really nice. Like I have been wearing, basically ever since I bought their products, I've been wearing it every single day and I've been really happy with how it looks on my skin. So if you're looking for just um, a cheaper, alter I don't wanna say cheaper, but just a less expensive alternative to your chemically filled um, makeup or your conventional beauty products, I would definitely go ahead and check them out. Plus you can also get uh, little sample sizes, which is what I have done with the biotin moisturizer because first of all I didn't know how it's going to wear and I didn't want to shell out the money so that you know Sometimes it's nice when you can just try out sample sizes you guys like it it helps trust me It helps a lot and it goes a long way like this will last you for a little bit moving on and now I am shifting a little bit of gears from makeup to skincare because honestly, if you know me personally, you know that I haven't really been a big person in in skincare lines and in skincare products. It's not, and especially if you've met me in person, you already know, I love how he's coming around. <laughs> um, you already know that I usually actually make my own like creams and hand creams. I'm, I definitely make my own massage lotion. So a lot of it, like I kind of make my own, which kind of leaves me with like, why would you buy anything? You know what I mean? So, but I also find that my skin is going through different stages and in each season my skin has different needs. So what I need in the winter time is going to be completely different than what I need in the summertime and springtime. So I wanted to kind of just explore the organic green realm of the skincare game. So I have a few products here that I wanted to talk to you about. First and foremost, I have seen an ad 
on I think it was actually on Instagram or Facebook uh, it's a company called no BS and I it, I, I love their messaging. They're very new, very hip, very cool. And basically their stuff is filled with like good quality ingredients. I have a full review coming of the, of the line because I have about five different products. This is actually the vitamin C and E facial serum, but I also have their No BS facial toner. It's a spray pump bottle and you would just use this after you use the cleanser. It takes a little bit to get used to it. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I think it's something that you definitely need to try. They do have a money back guarantee if you don't like their products. So it's one of the newer products out there that is claiming to be a cleaner ingredient. Like they have cleaner ingredients in there. And I will just say this without actually running into a full review. You really need to know who it's for. I have tested all of their ingredients, like legit, I would look up each ingredient one by one, and almost all of their products have passed with flying colors. Now, I will share more of my thoughts on how it worked out for me, and then that way you can make your own decisions on it. But all I will say is that if you want a, a newer skincare line and you're on the hunt for something that actually is effective then i would definitely check out no bs i think that you're going to be very happy with them moving on little storyline so let me just scooch back so that i can tell you the story okay so if you follow me on instagram you already know that you know well, first of all i like to try out a bunch of different things and then really test them out and see how they work out so i bought a while back an eye cream from mad hippie wasn't a cheap one it was it was a, one of the eye creams that just had amazing ingredients in there and i really wanted to try out an eye cream and really test to do a before and after to see you know how it's actually going to work out for me and if i can see a measurable difference so long story short i buy the eye cream it's in a pump bottle the pump breaks i took the entire thing apart yes ladies we will totally do that for a good eye cream because we're not going to sacrifice packaging for a good product. You know what I mean? I know most of you feel me on this, so we're not going to dwell on this. So I take the entire thing apart and I had this little container of, <laughs> it's basically, you know, like those little travel size, like containers that you can get at the dollar store. So I had one of those. I scooped out all the product, put it into that little tin and I'm happy as ever. Mad Hippie finds out. I mean, I, Anyways, okay, apparently they watched their Instagram account. So, because uh, I was just talking about how good the eye cream is and whatever. So, they ended up sending me a facial oil cleanser and another eye cream for my troubles. To say like hardcore amazing service is an understatement. So, I'm hugely impressed with them. And, and then, of course, I'm like, okay, well, we need to try out more from this brand. Not only are their messaging on brand, but their ingredients are amazing. And so here we are. That leads me to today. So I have here, so I have their eye cream. This is their facial moisturizer with peptides and acai argan oil and resveratrol. resveratrol. Here we go. Uh, it's a natural revitalizing face cream that reduces the appearance of wrinkles. Go and look on their website and take a look at the before and after on all of their products because they have testimonials, they do have before and after and you will be shocked. So it's crazy good. I have been using this usually at the very end of the day and of course before I apply my makeup and I have been very very happy with, with it. The difference between this and then the moisturizer that you will see from No BS is for me personally, the one from No BS is still moisturizing but it's not as hydrating on my skin as this guy. So it depends on your skin type. This to me is more suitable for a normal to dry skin. The one that you can get from No BS is more from a normal to oily skin. Then you will absolutely love this. For me personally, some of their products were a little bit drying. So in case you're, in case you need reference. So this is their facial moisturizer. So here's the cleansing oil. Oh my God. Like if you have never tried a facial cleansing oil, this will probably become one of those things where you will not only fall in love with it, but it will create a beautiful beauty routine, a beautiful beauty ritual. 
So I will actually I'm going to be showing you guys my morning routine. I am getting ready to show you that next week. So just keep an eye out for that video and I will be using this. So if you wanted to see more in detail of how you can actually do facial massage and how you can use your, your facial washer tool, this is something that I would be using for that purpose. But at, I end up using this at nighttime where I have cleansed my skin, I have removed my makeup, and then I go in with this, and it just, it leaves your skin so supple, it's amazing. The other thing that I have picked up from them is a hydrating nutrient mist. I've been hearing a lot about this, so I really wanted to give this a try. The main reason for this really is just so that, especially now that summer and springtime is, spring and summer is upon us, I wanted something where I can just before I apply my tinted moisturizers and my SPF, I wanted some quick spritz so that it not only hydrates my skin, but it can also add some nutrients back into my skin as well. Basically, this is a harm harmoniously hydrating blend minimizes the appearance of photo damage. That was the other thing. That's sort of where they had me at photo damage. And I think that I will be picking up their vitamin C serum because that has been getting amazing reviews as well. And I will be using that in combo with this guy so that especially like when I'm going to be more increasing the time that I spend outdoors and out in the sun, then something like this that can help you with photo damage. It's, it's always, you know, good times. There will be coming a full review of the brand line. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested in seeing it. I would love to do that for you. But oh my gosh like and even like when you smell their product oh yeah it's like good times like basically you just want to spritz it all over i'm not going to do that right now because i have makeup on but you get my point moving on so moving on from skin oh yeah and one more thing that i wanted to show you this is just i mean this will come as no surprise to most of you i mean if you already know me you already know that i'm a huge fan of routine oh it's it's gonna be bad girl it's bad i mean it's good but it's bad you know what i mean uh, so i was basically running out of the routine deodorant that i had previously so i picked up a new one and then ever since then i picked up two more because i realized that at the yoga studio close to me they sell like tiny little like trial size what i'm sitting there like what are you talking about trial size are you serious so a love affair with routine is like bang on. This is a scent called A Girl Named Sue. First of all, like super cute descriptions. I believe that they're actually made in Canada. I feel like saying, yes, they are. They're made in Calgary, Alberta. So another Canadian company. Don't you love that when you find like local Canadian companies? Oh, you already feel so much better about like supporting them. It smells so good, you guys. It has, you smell the raspberry, you smell that little bit of hint of citrus and that little punch of, um, it doesn't have any citrus. It smells amazing, very happy with it. I have a couple of other scents too, so I will be testing them out, see how they are performing. But so far, we're happy. That's all I can say. Moving on to books and mindset shifts. When it comes to books, here's my thing on the books. <sighs> I, I made time to read, but not nearly as much as I would like to. And if you follow me on Facebook, you already know that I, I currently, as we speak, I'm going through a 21 day self-care challenge. And as I'm going through that process, I'm realizing how much I long for reading more thought provoking books. And I haven't, and honestly, it's not that I didn't want to read. I just found that for the month of March, I haven't really been like grabbed by any of the, the books that were available. Call it Mercury Retrograde, call it the Cosmic Powers, whatever it was. I just didn't have like that clear direction, that clarity where I would feel like, yes, that's the type of book that I need to read. This is the scale set that is missing. Like I didn't really have that. It felt really, I felt really out of place in a lot of ways in the month of March. So I kind of took it easy with reading. I gravitated more towards magazines that I have to books. So I have a couple of mindfulness magazines here with me. This is The Power of Mindfulness. This is, I believe that they make this actually in the UK. It's not made in Canada, that's for sure. I kind of wish that they did. If there can be some publications happening in Canada with on the topic of mindfulness, I would be all over that. 
Uh, it's really nice. It, if it's, I've been finding that it, because I didn't really make much time to read like a full blown book, nothing really like grabbed my attention. I find that, you know, like magazines are a perfect way to just really get that quick hit of just inspiration. So I would read about, you know, morning routines, what you can do like in the morning when you first wake up. Some of the podcast recommendations are excellent in this. If you're looking for a podcast that will be more fulfilling, more thought provoking, something that will help you with tapping into happiness and being more content overall. So that has been great for that. And just, it gives you recommendations on meditation and why that's important and how you can apply mindfulness into your day-to-day -day life. So I have been loving this guy. And then the other one that I have, which you might have seen in previous months, is um, the one that's called the Breed, the Wellbeing Special. This is um, more of a winter edition, but uh, I believe that this is also made in the UK. This talks about, you know, like different steps to take on concepts of forgiveness, um, how to overcome fear. So this more talks about like how to overcome certain things, like how you can actually manage the day-to-day -day things that come up for you. So it's been really helpful with that, but there's also like a full segment on Ayurvedic medicine, which I really appreciate. Cause then that just sort of explains to me my love affair with essential oils and my love affair with turmeric and ginger and chai tea and how you can really, like why does that really help you and which system it activates. So it has been really, really interesting to read something like that. If you're ever wanting like just a quick hit of inspiration, I highly recommend not so much dabbling into all of the books, but maybe pick up a couple of magazines and see if it's something that actually sparks your interest before before you, you invest your money in the books. Because I've been finding, especially in the past few months, that there's so many different books that come out and a lot of it is in the personal development space and it can feel very overwhelming where you feel like you need to buy all of the things. And right now I'm really just learning to take my time and actually see like, does that really work for me? And if it doesn't, then I just sort of leave it or I'll come back to it later. I have also found that if with audiobooks, I have uh, finished listening to the Gabby Bernstein Judgment Detox book. I actually have the physical copy and I also had the audio version as well. I have finished listening to the whole thing and it has really made me aware, like when we're talking about mindset shifts here, it has really made me aware of just the depth and the level of judgment that I have been passing on to others and then people pass on to me. Whether that's it's not, and sometimes judgment is not necessarily as bad of a thing. It's just like having a level of awareness around the judgment that happens and just, you know, really bringing it up, especially if it's friends and loved ones of what that really creates, then you can really avoid a lot of problems overall. So that has been really eye opening just on little things like, and it's usually on little petty things that really doesn't matter. Last but not least, I wanted to share with you something that now I think that it's a lot of it has to do with spring that has sort of brought that on. But another thing that I've been absolutely loving for the month of March and leading into April as well is plants. As you can tell, I have an abundance of plants right next to me. But what's exciting is that up to this point in my life, I would always kill plants. Always. <laughs> I could not keep them alive for the life of me. So now it's so exciting when I see that they're not only, I'm not only able to keep them alive, but I'm actually able to pay attention to like their needs and what they need and how much water they need and how much light they need. Mind you, I will say having a book like this. Oh, I, I love how like his, his bum is still here. Um, I have a book like this. It's called the inspired house plans. So I just picked this up at the library, like closest to me. It breaks down some of the different plants that you may have in your home and how to actually take care of them, how much water to add. So having a book like this is very helpful. So if, if you do have plants and you sort of have that fear of like not sure like where to start, I recommend getting just a basic book on how to take care of them. But I will just show you a couple of my newest additions here. So this is a little succulent. Let's just zoom you. Look right in the middle. Oh, that's all new. Isn't that cute? And then the other one that's also new, and I will show you the ex where the excitement starts here. So this is like, look, it kind of looks like it's plastic. It's not plastic. This is a real, this is called the Japanese fern. 
Look how cute that is, oh my god. What's exciting is not so much that I have the plants. What's exciting is when I see that they are growing and thriving and they have like little flowers coming on them. It just, it makes me so happy. My husband always makes fun of me for, oh my God, you can really like your plants. Of course you do, when you have been kill killing them for like the past 20 years and finally you're able to keep them not only alive, but they are thriving. It's an exciting day. Let me know you guys in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Do you guys have any plants? Do you have that love affair? Are you like super excited or drawn to plants? Let me know. Also, let me know if you have tried any of the products that we have covered here and what your experience was. Maybe I can learn from you a little bit. This is basically all I wanted to share with you guys. And if you are brand new here, thank you so much for spending time with me and sharing your space with me here. Welcome, I'm so glad that you are here. I usually chat with you on this channel about three times a week. We try, between two to three times a week. And we go into mindfulness practices, spirituality, some spiritual rituals, and we talk about how to be a more intentional human in general and how we come, how can we become more conscious as consumers. So if that sounds good to you, then consider subscribing and hit the notification you don't miss, so that you don't miss another video. But you might be still left and wonder what's going to be coming up when. Now, to help you out and to be a little bit more conscious of your time, I usually release a recap email every single Sunday to my email community where I give you some of the best takeaways from each of my videos. And I also show you the release schedule for the following week and then that way you don't miss anything. So if you wanted to sign up for that, link is down in the description. And in the meanwhile, keep shining you guys and enjoy the springtime. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I cannot wait to see you guys again. Bye. Let the real video begin. Look at this. So tell me, what was your monthly favorite? Was it this couch? Or like the other couch? Was it a bone? Tell everybody that you like bones. They would like to hear. Don't pretend like you did not just photobomb this entire video. Oh gosh, the sign. Are you serious right now? Be serious, you guys. What are you doing? Well, you know that you can be in all my videos, right? This is not a Toby show. Is it a Toby show? What do you think? I love how you have a pillow and I don't. Like, what happened there? Can you get off the couch? Can we can we get off the couch, please? Thank you. Thank you. See, like, at least, like, sit up, right? I know you can hear me. Okay. No? You're gonna get off the couch. <laughs> You're not gonna get off the couch? Are you serious? He's serious, he's serious, you guys. Okay, say bye.